I just hit my first 20 and 0 of the new patch and I'm going to be sharing the custom tactics with you guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. Leave a like, subscribe, I will be showing you gameplay later in the tactics that I am about to show. So that will help you improve as well. This is the best place to learn for free and get better at FC24. So subscribe, leave a like and comment down below your favourite formation. If you want the cheapest FC24 coins to get ahead of the competition, check out MMO EXP by clicking the link down below and use code JAMBU for 5% off. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys the tactics. It is a little mixture of two custom tactics. It is not this account that I hit it on. Uh, most of you guys know that I do play other people's weekend leagues. If you are interested in that, the link is in the description. So the team isn't too relevant because we didn't hit the 20-0 with this one anyway. Um, it's a mixture of a 4-2-3-1 and a 4-3-2-1. I'm actually really enjoying on this new patch the 4-2-3-1. Um, I feel like it's very defensively secure. You can keep the ball in it well, um, especially now that you don't have to deal as much with the 71 depth. You can keep the ball very easy in it. So we'll start off with that. 4-2-3-1, uh, 55, so very low on the depth. Uh, balanced direct passing, 60 on the whip, six players in the box, and two on the corners and three kicks. In terms of how you want to actually set it up, Try and get someone like Neymar in the cam position, like a five-star, five-star, good passer, uh, you know, decent finisher, that sort of player. Um, you can still absolutely bang in those finesse shots off either side, um, especially if you green them. It's a lot... I think I would say it's more reliant on green time and shots now after the patch with the finesses. Uh, they still fly in, um, sometimes even if you don't green them, but it just gives you that extra bit of security. Uh, I would play Puskas or someone like that on the left, you know, if you've got another left footer for the Travellers. And then two box-to-box -box players at CDM. They need to be able to defend, but it's more important in terms of their passing and what they can actually offer in the build-up and going forward. Um, and then for the back four, in an ideal world, you just have two players like Teo Hernandez. Uh, Militao, to be fair, as a stay-back right-back really isn't too bad, um, but it depends how you want to play. Moving on to the instructions, get in behind, stay forward on the striker. Uh, we have stay forward and get into the box for the cam and then come back on defence on the lamb and the ram. Uh, cut passing lanes and cover centre on the CDMs. You don't want them to stay back in my opinion. If you struggle with your defending, you definitely can. But I think it's, at least for the way I play, it's quite important to actually have those extra bodies offering up support in the attack as well. Uh, so that is what I go with. We have stay back while attacking and overlap on Militao and stay back while attacking and overlap on Teo. Uh, the 4 2 3 1 is not a formation where you need overlapping fullbacks at all. So you don't really need to worry about that. Especially because we've not got our CDMs on stay back. Uh, you've essentially got like six players there who are all going to be offering up in the attack. So you're going to create good options. Uh, some of you may struggle with the fact that obviously it's a single striker formation. It takes some time to get used to. But in terms of the triangles and the opportunities that you can create in the actual build-up, it's just a very, very good all-round formation. Uh, then, of course, the 4 3 2 one. A lot of you guys may have seen this on my channel already, so we won't spend too much time on it. But 60 depth, 60 whip, 6 players in the box... Essentially the same as I always done, other than we have gone away from the 71 depth now. But we have Usman Dembele in there. Uh, you can get away with just putting any attacking player in one of the wide centre mid spots. And then just stay central, get in behind. Uh, obviously have one of your uh, wide forwards on comeback. Have that side of CM on cover centre. Um, middle centre mid on cover centre and then the other on cover wing so you're defending the 4-4-2 and then we have balanced overlap on Teo and stay back on Militao but for you guys that don't have Militao uh, you will actually want it just on that balanced and overlap uh, Militao is just awful going forward so that is the reason but guys that is the setup Hopefully you do enjoy it. Nice quick video. Like I say, I will be uploading later today some gameplay um, of how to get a 20, you know. So subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you on the next one. And peace.